Oh, what's good, guys? Yo, shout out to my cameraman. I didn't even know he got that. But just warming up before this video, because I would like to talk about in this video, calisthenics versus weightlifting. Skills like that, you won't be able to learn if you just do if you just do weightlifting. Come through, guys. So, in this video today, we're gonna talk about the secret routine to building your whole body. The, all you need is these six exercises and you'll be able to go into any type of weightlifting gym and not only compete with the weightlifter, but lift as much as them without even practicing not one day. But guess what? You won't be able to go to a calisthenic park, pop out and see a weightlifter doing handstand push-ups. You won't be able to see them doing one-arm pull-ups. You won't be able to see them go to a bar and do a front lever. You won't see that. You won't see them at a bar doing muscle up. Nice and slow and controlled. You won't be able to see bodybuilders in any gym go anywhere and do these things. But these six exercises will allow you to unlock these superpowers in your body and be able to look like a Super Saiyan or an anime character. First of all, let's talk about these six exercises. Let's break it down. The first exercise is push-ups. Now, there's 10 steps to break it down a push-up, but let's talk about the push-up, a perfect push-up. First of all, you wanna make sure that when you're in a push-up position, you don't, you're not in any irregular angles. You don't want to feel uncomfortable. Shoulders width apart. Keep your hands in front of you. On the ground, of course, where else can it be? And then when you're going down into the push-up, you don't want to have your elbows flaring out. You want to have your elbows going into a, a angle, like a 45 degree angle. And you want to go nice and slow. Nice and slow is the fastest way to grow. By doing push-ups, you affect your minor, and your major pectorials, your triceps, your chest, crazy. Then, there's different variations to push-ups to really affect all those other little muscle groups that you haven't affected. But if you don't know how to do a push-up, the first thing you have to do is go on the wall. Nice and slow. You do these type of tempo push-ups. When you can master the wall, you go to a little higher level, but it's not on the ground yet. Something like this. You do nice and slow. Then you can do about 50 of those, 50 of these. You can possibly go to the ground. Then you do 50 of these, nice and slow. You will be able to get strong enough so that you can do the next exercise, which is a pull-up. Let me show you the proper pull-up. By the way, to master a push-up, you have to be able to do a one hand. One hand push-up. If you call yourself a super god saying, 50 on each arm. The next exercise, is a pull-up, which affects your lats, your shoulders, your, your rear delts, your, your core. This is a proper push-up. You don't want to overextend your elbows because that's how you get tendonitis. A lot of people stress clean pull-ups, but in all actuality, every pull-up is clean because you are affecting your pulling muscles. So by telling someone that they're not doing correctly, you're just talking out of your pride and ego, especially if that person looks bigger or is possibly stronger than you. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but staying in the negative is actually harder to do this than to do this. And even if you don't think it's harder, you build more muscle mass staying in the negative, guys. So, but let me, talk, let me show you the proper pull. You wanna, don't overextend. 90 degree right there, at an angle right there. Chin over the bar. Chin over the bar, you, could put, you don't have to put your chest to the bar, 
You don't have to put your stomach to the bar. When you do your chest and your stomach to the bar, you take away from your lateral muscles, okay? Especially if you want to gain mass and have wings, you take away from that lateral muscle. All you need to do is go to your chin, nice and slow. One, two, you stay there in the negative for one second, and you come back down. One, two, stay right there in the negative, come back down. One, two, stay right there in the negative, then you come back down. You can do as many sets and reps as you want according to your body type and according to how much you weigh and stuff like that. But honestly, guys, it's very important to be consistent. That's the biggest key, All right? Cardio, so you got the Peloton right there. Got to do cardio, you got a whole cardio vascular system. The next exercise, because you want to have that good six pack, feel me? You just created a demon back. We're going to get that six pack. It's leg raises, guys. Super perfect core. If you can't do leg raises like these, if you can't do these, right, do these. Nice and slow. Strengthening the core and strengthening your back muscles as well, your lower back. Super important. Your lower back is everything. Without your back muscles and your legs, your upper body wouldn't be anything. You'll just be in a wheelchair. Let's go. Leg raises affects your whole transverse abdominus, your whole, all of your abs, even your obliques. So even if you do, you don't have to necessarily just go up and down, you go to the side. So, see me? Go to the side, even with the leg raises. Go to the side or just stay on the side. So many different variations, but this is all body weight training. And this is how you sculpt your body like a doctor would, would do surgery on your body inside the office, inside the doctor's office. We're doing surgery, we're not working out. We are working in. Feel me, guys? So pull up, push ups, leg raises. Those are three of the secret exercises to be able to build your body to have superpowers. We have three more. You can never, ever skip leg day. First of all, let me show you a perfect squat. Come on here, real quick. Let me some air. Show you a perfect squat. See, look at this, guys. I'm just showing you this. Look how much I'm sweating. This is work. You see where my feet is? That outside of my shoulders, but inside. The closer you are, that's the faster you'll be able to build your muscles to be able to go outside. And then you'll be stronger when you do go outside. So keep the power within. Nice and slow. Fastest way to grow. You want to stay in each exercise. You want to stay in the negative for at least one second. Do a hundred of these straight. To master the squat, you have to be able to do a pistol squat. Feel me? Nice and slow. A hundred on each leg. Fastest way to grow. Squats are super important. A lot of guys are skipping out on legs and they don't understand that that's how you affect your testosterone. As a boy, your testosterone starting to flow into your body, your body changed, you grew astronomically, and now you're a man. So affect that testosterone. You don't have to go to a, a pharmacy, you don't have to go out to ask your doctor how to get more testosterone. You want more testosterone? Do legs, do legs every single day. And I, your whole nervous system resets when you do legs. It's super important for you, for men, and women, because you're figure estrogen, ladies, to do legs, so do legs, guys. Now, that's four exercises that are super important for you to be able to build your body and sculpt it so you can be a super saiyan. The fifth exercise, which affects over 100 muscles, over 100 muscles, super important, the bridge. Look at this, guys. Every, every muscle in the back gets affected. Once you're in the bridge, look at this, bridge push-ups. How often do you see people do these? And as you saw to master the bridge, you go from standing up straight into bridge. Turn back, just standing up. 
doing the bridge, not only do you work on so many muscle groups, you open up your back. You avoid injuries. You feel me? You stretch, that's stretching while building your muscles all at the same time. Dynamic movement. You feel as if you're stretching your muscles is feeling as if they're building. And that's the beautiful thing. And this comes to the last exercise, which a lot of people who have difficulty trying to do because they want to just skip steps. Handstand push-ups. You saw me start off the video like that. To be able to master that, you have to go on the wall. Go on the wall. You stay on the wall for 30 seconds to one minute for at least three to five sets. Do these. After a little while, you turn around. You turn around and you get closer to the wall. Then you start to take your feet off the wall one at a time. Get used to that. Stacking your hips over your body and get used to the blood rushing over your head. When you find your balance, Mm, you got a handstand. Once you have that stress to stay in that handstand for 30 seconds to one minute, you can definitely try to do handstand push-ups. Other variations for you to help you strengthen your shoulders, your traps, and those other muscle groups for you to do handstand push-ups is to be able to do pike push-ups, guys. Right here with it. Pike push-ups, nice and slow. That's the fastest way to grow. And even when you've leveled up, and that gets easy for you, you put your legs higher. You put your legs higher. Elevation, affecting all the rest of those muscle groups that's, that want to call themselves weak. You make everything strong, there's no weakness here. Nice and slow. Guys, by doing these six exercises, these six exercises, I didn't even show you the mastery of all of them. But, all right, for the pull-up, to master the pull-up is the one-arm pull-up. For the push-up is the one-arm push-up. For the squat is the pistol squat. For the handstand is a one-arm handstand push-up. For the bridge is the stand to bridge. But, and the leg raise is the leg raise in the air on the bar, on the pull-up bar. That's how you master the leg raises. But, you do these six exercises, and I guarantee you, not only will you be able to, to look better than me, if not like me, but you'll be able to go into gyms and compete with a lot of these bodybuilders who's been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years and lift as much as them. But remember, always be open to learn. It's not a competition. You are your biggest comp competitor. So don't go out and, and, and distinctly try to compete with people. What you should do is go out seeking knowledge, wanting to learn. So if you see someone bigger than you in the gym, go up to them and ask them the knowledge that they have. Can you, they can possibly teach you something and you can possibly teach them something. You feel me? So smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. The rest of this, um, these exercises and how to master it is in my program, guys. I'll show you the 10 secret steps to mastering each of these exercises and even more exercises so that you can be able to be the, in the best shape that you can be and optimal. And if you want a meal plan or different meal plans according to how or whatever body weight that you are, check out my program. The link to my program will be in the description. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for getting me 500,000 subscribers. We are here in Miami right now. The work never stops. Where do you want me to go next? Comment down below where you want me to go next. Hopefully we're in Dubai soon. Shout out to my brother Goku Pump. Make sure you subscribe to his page as well. And guys, Always and forever, release your negative energy in a positive way because we are warriors of the light. Feel me? We are here, Saiyans, we are here to save this planet. This, these humans are out here destroying themselves and because of that, they're destroying this planet as well. So let's help, let's reach, let's ascend to that godly level that's inside of us so that we can treat this planet and ourselves as the best as it can be and we look and be the best that we can be you feel me shout out to you guys thank you guys for subscribing i appreciate you guys the link to the patreon will be in the, in the, in the description if you want to change your life and become a saint thank you guys i am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I 